Fox News and Gretchen Carlson have settled out of court over the sexual harassment allegations against former CEO Roger Ailes. Uh, she's going to receive $20 million, and she released this statement, quote, I'm gratified the 21st Century Fox took decisive action after I filed my complaint. I'm ready to move on to the next chapter of my life in which I will redouble my efforts to empower women in the workplace. I want to thank all the brave women who came forward to their own st to tell their own stories and the many people across the country who embraced and supported me in their hashtag stand with Gretchen uh, supported me, excuse me, in hashtag stand with Gretchen. All women deserve a dignified and respectful workplace. Uh, and then 21st Century Fox released a statement and they said this, 21st Century Fox is pleased to announce that we have settled with Gretchen, uh, settled Gretchen Carlson's lawsuit during her tenure at Fox News. Gretchen Carlson exhibited the highest standards of journalism and professionalism. She developed a loyal audience and was a daily source of information for many Americans. We are proud that she was part of the Fox News team. We sincerely regret and apologize for the fact that Gretchen was not treated with the respect and dignity that she and all of our colleagues deserve. We know Gretchen will be successful in whatever endeavor she chooses in the future. Okay. Um, so that was kind of unprecedented, this idea of we're going to settle and, oh yeah, you're going to write me an apology and you're not going to try to skirt any responsibility. You're going to say, we apologize, you weren't treated as you should have been treated. So that is fairly unprecedented. And that amount is kind of a big amount, though I should bring up that uh, Roger Ailes is actually getting $40 million upon leaving and being ousted from Fox News. He's getting $40 million, Gretchen Carlson's getting $20 million, and she and other women at Fox News put up with a tremendous amount of sexual harassment, the details of which we've gone over in the past, and it was classic sexual harassment. If you do X, Y, and Z, you basically get promoted in the company and will you know, do right by you, but you gotta do right by us, and that means... <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's, uh, I honestly don't know how to feel about it. I don't. I don't. Because part of me wants to see Roger Ailes actually go to court and we actually see all the evidence and we actually learn the details about what he did and we get a verdict. And, you know, it just seems to me like Assuming all of the evidence that we know thus far is true and the stories we know thus far is true, it's like if you're rich and powerful, well then, you know, even if you get into a bind, here's a little bit of money now, shut the fuck up and move along. And it seems like that it's not justice in the conception of justice I have in my mind. Now maybe on some level it is justice because... Gretchen Carlson, who was one of the victims, is saying, no, 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 it's cool. I feel good now. I got $20 million, bitch. And they apologize and so on and so forth. But I don't know how I feel about it. And um, two other uh, women, female anchors on Fox, apparently settled as well. I don't have the details, and I don't think they've been released on the on for those women. Andrea Tantaros, we know, has not settled yet. She's another one who said, no, I was sexually harassed, and now there's a lawsuit. And she said famously that, you know, Fox News functions like a sex-fueled uh, Playboy Mansion-like cult. So, we'll see what happens moving forward here. But remember, Gretchen Carlson and others, I think, have tapes of Roger Ailes. They're like, no, yeah, they, they were smart after they, they had been harassed so many times. They were like, let me just fucking bring in this thing and record exactly what he's saying here. And so, Fox News does not want those tapes getting out. So, it's almost like they're willing to do anything to keep those tapes from getting out and to keep this from getting into court. So they're just going to fucking keep throwing money at the problem. And at the end of it, who knows how much. Maybe they'll spend $100 million trying to settle all these cases. Because remember, it's like dozens of women. So we'll see what happens. It's still a messy situation, but at least with Gretchen Carlson, they've reached an agreement out of court.